Hey guys, it's the History Nerd, and we are back with another exciting episode of Silent Hunter 5. Is that something I should be worried about? No, nah, that just looks like a normal... Task Force oh, well. sighted. Bearing 141. One. Yeah, it might be something we should be worried about. Let's get underwater. Ah, uh, good to be back! It has Task been a while since I was able to one, upload a video, one, and I do uh, humbly apologize for the length of time that it's been since doing one of these. Um, in the time since we last spoke, I have actually been approved for a purchase of a house and gone through, first off, all the looking at places again, then the paperwork and all that other junk, and now I'm pleased to say that uh, it looks like everything's going along with this place uh, just fine, which is good. And I should be uh, moving in there on the weekend of the 15th. So, um, yeah, in two weeks' time. So the, uh, the 16th, 17th, don't expect any videos. And in fact, it might be a couple days while I get internet set up, etc., etc. Uh, and still, in between then and now, um, videos are going to be pretty limited. Just because, you know, I'm... Uh, packing and all that other stuff so uh yeah if you're keeping up to date and watch these as i release them terribly sorry if you're watching this later on uh have no worries there's probably another video for you ready and waiting so yeah congratulations on waiting uh anyway that's enough of reality let's talk about what's going on here so with this uh, mission advancement not changing at all, I've got a bright idea of heading down into Lorient, of ending the patrol and restarting it. Now, we are going to lose out some time, of course. It ticks by, I think, about two weeks. Um, game time. Whoa! Three, five, that nine. is going to cause us to wind up very dead. New waypoint. And course, then if that doesn't three, work, three, um, I mean, I don't, I don't know what else I can do. Course three, um, zero, seven. You know, it just might come Course, to an end. Three, uh, zero, that being said, I know there is a mod out there that does New let you Course, three, select missions, zero, which is good. Uh, I can install that if this uh, tends to fail me because we're not actually able to finish off the mission because it doesn't count our kills. I'll just move us to the next thing. New so that's not too bad. We do have chances two, four, two. Long uh, range. of continuing the series, uh, you know, because I think I think I'm I'm allowed to do that. Yep. Granted, we've had a couple of restarts uh, for various reasons. You know, running aground, which is dumb. That shouldn't end the game. Uh, and I guess that's really been the only one. So we could we could totally get away with doing another one. Anyway. Let go. Let's get this down to nothing and just take a look. Because I do believe we're drawing the attention of some of the old escorts. So, uh, yeah, if we could just sink one of them. Might as well send them a mission. There I go, flinging sunglasses off my desk, apparently. Sorry for the crash if the microphone picked it up. Probably did. That's uh, generally what microphones do. New contact, merchant, moving slow, moving we'll away. see if these Bearing guys two, have four, two, any sort of range. knowledge of our position. And critically, can we get a lock Target on these guys? Marked. Yeah, we can. And we should actually be able to have this lined up fairly well. Oh. Hello. Tracking you would target. appear to be even closer. You are do definitely a more difficult shot, though. So how about we now get you back and you... Where is he? Target. Out Mark. over there. See, I wonder if he'll come in for two. I think he will. Keeping in mind, this guy is much closer. Tracking new but, yeah, I think we're going to go with this guy, mainly because it's going to be an easier path for the torpedo to travel. 
Provided, of course, this asshat doesn't get in the way of my shot. Which could happen. I could wind up not getting a shot on either of these guys. Because of reasons. Well. Tracking new target. Can we kick that up a bit? Hmm. Alright, we'll target have to stick with that guy. Drop it down. Oh, and now you're going to be a very awkward shot, aren't you? That's how this is going to go, is it? All right. Oh. Come on. Get you up there. No, that ain't ever going to work. What about you? And you're going away, aren't you? Yeah. Target marked. Well, shoot. All right, let's see. Are these guys going to stick around? Oops, that's what I wanted to zoom out. Nope, they're not. Contact, warship, moving slow, moving away. Bearing, two, five, nine. Long range. All right. Ah, oh, wonderful. I have not been running my uh, stopwatch. No idea how long this video is going to be, but um, there you have it. Uh, so yeah, with New those contact, guys gone, warship, moving slow, we'll just go up to the surface. Away. Bearing, two, three, four. Long Get the range. periscope down. We don't need that. Get up on deck, because it's always nicer to set sail from up here. And bye-bye, uh, convoy. We'll be seeing another one of you. It is a shame. That thing was freaking huge. Uh, anyway, I'll be back when something exciting comes our way. See you guys in a bit. All right, so on our voyage back, we've uh, stumbled across a lone freighter. And I'm not one to let an opportunity to slip that by. Gun. Man that deck gun. Man the deck gun! Good work, Dieter. The seas are really nice and calm. So, uh, we shouldn't have much of an issue with the old firing here. Let's just make sure we actually have ammunition in the gun. Excuse me. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, we do. Good, okay. Fire when you're ready. Deck gun crew. Tiger Stripes still on the boat. That's always good. Aha! The report of the 88mm cannon. I love it. Hello, freighter. We're coming to get you. Um, let's go ahead, actually, and just... Rider 5, please depart. Take ourselves 5 degrees over. And we can actually expand that. Here we go. Head on with the ship, man. We should be able to hit it, no problem. I would hope. Uh, yeah, that's good enough. Yeah, there we go. Now we're hitting it. And we're heading straight for it, too. Excellent course adjustment. And let's go GD view. Check this guy out. It is a fair distance out. That is for sure. So the fact that we're landing shots on this alone I'm okay with did that go under the waterline no I just just sort of caught the edge that's annoying how quick is this guy going five knots it's not really that quick yeah there we go that should hit two nope a bit too far out We got a couple good hits in there. I guess we don't need to be going that quick either. Slow speed ahead. That should increase our accuracy with these wonderful glorious shots. Let's go back. We're far enough out. We can stay in the cheaty view for a nice long while. Well, bam! All right. Any visible damage yet? Nope. Anything under the water? No. Well, we did just miss, miss an explosion. Haha, <laughs> good. Now the ship is on fire. At the very least. Should make it easier to hit. One would assume. Still going five knots, but it looks like. Rudder five degrees to starboard. It looks like they may be adjusting their course to try and avoid us. Hmm. 
I'm wondering if you guys can hear all the crap going on outside the window. So I'm going to close it. Don't need to be hearing vehicles and planes nearby. Come on. Oh, yeah. Although, really, we're not, we're not really hitting it enough. Uh, okay, yes, yeah. Sir. You know what? Just let's secure the secure gun for the now. Net. And what we'll do is just try and get ourselves closer. Half speed ahead. Okay. Five degrees to part. It seems like it's way more than five degrees. Call me crazy. Okay, well, not that it matters. The ship has been sunk. Returning to course. Let's return to course, and while we go back. I'm kind of impressed that it's going under. I guess we must have just hit the right things for everything to work out just fine. I'm a-okay with that. Oh yeah, getting those explosions going on. All the fires. Going under. Nope. Ah yeah. Look at that. <clears throat> love it. Love it, love it. Alright. Still nothing. Okay. So, yeah. I don't know what's going on with that kill counter. But we'll see if we can't rectify it with just a little restart of the old um, mission thingy. Okay. Be back with something exciting. Alright. We've returned to glorious Lorient Harbor. So let's just go ahead and end our patrol. I'll stop. I'm going to um, try something. I'm just going to try a new save. There we go. Go ahead and save that. And then we can resume. And we will have to select a new mission. So. Welcome back, Hector. What are my orders? I know. People are debating my glorious achievements. Although I don't know why they'd be debating it. Request that mission. So we've got a new goal, which is patrol around that area. Lovely. Okay, so we're good. Welcome back, Heckerlot. Let's start the new patrol. So, yeah, there you go. The Walther boat, the V80. Setting the underwater speed record in 1940. 23 knots. That is pretty quick. Of course, I have no idea how fast submarines go these days. Probably. Returning to course. I'll stop. Half speed ahead. Much I'll quicker. We're approaching our final Let's go right ahead. Point. Get the Zero. periscopes down. Thank you guys for raising them. And we will uh, go ahead. Minimum slow. speed ahead. It's. Obviously winter, so we've got s snow and ice going on. Ooh, it's Christmas Eve. My word. The crew of the Defiance drawing the short straws. Yes, sir. Sorry, Dieter. I know where this is going to go, but uh, you know what? Let's just, let's just ignore your horrible jokes in the spirit of baby Jesus' birthday. Well, we can slowly but surely leave port. Always doing it very gently. Smoke on the horizon. Right, Come on. New Control. waypoint. Course zero. Returning to course. New waypoint. Course 44. New waypoint. Course 70. All right. New waypoint. Course Leaving the horrible 70. harbor. New waypoint. Course uh, 55. Of New waypoint. Course 48. There we go. That should take us out safely. Slow we can hit speed, speed too. Why not? Um, oh, oh God. Why? There we go. And there we go. Um, sighted, one Aaron, last thing three, to check. Nine. Where did you see the U-boat? Oh, way back there? Yeah, don't worry about it. Or is it way ahead of us? Through the docks. Oh, Dieter, that's why you're the man on the conning tower. 
you've got crazy skillful eyes that uh, can see things. Really Smoke on the horizon. Bearing can't. Three, three, two, three, seven. Three, three, three. There we go. We are in shallow waters, Captain. Do we want to overcharge? Probably not. We'll just take those. And with another spare point, how about we... No, that's going to take more than one point, I see. All right. Uh, we're good there. All right, radio guy. No? No, that's going to take more than a point? Okay. That's good to know. Anything? Can we upgrade anything? Motor officer. Nope. Bosun? Nope. Okay, well then, we're stuck with that. I guess those points are worth two. Good to know now. Let's kick up the time acceleration and get our asses on out of port. Submarine sighted. It's one of ours, bearing two. I would one, hope it's one six. of ours. My God, if we had British submarines in Lorient Harbor, things would be going very poorly for the uh, for the Axis in this war. All right, let's well, give it up. Speed three. Nine, five. And away we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just make sure we set we this to are travel shallow waters, Captain. So things like being in shallow waters Submarine sighted. aren't it's one of going ours, to freak us out. Are we going to be clear? Zero. We're not going to run aground? I like it. All right, guys, I'm going to be back when we get uh, to our new patrol sector. All right, so it looks like we're going to be coming in contact with yet another... Um, destroyer patrol it seems to be like there's a, a patrol of four of them that just hang around out here so that's always good to be mindful of and i'm glad we noticed them before things went down <clears throat> now if we do take a look at the route they're going what no are they coming for us no so we could you know hang around here just to target these guys at a later date, but I think that might be a waste of everyone's time. Uh, we should be clear. Let's go ahead and pop up. Are we? No. Whoa. Slow Shut down. down. Diesel engines. Current depth, nope. One, zero nope. Meters. Just drop down. How Periscope far deck. out are they? <laughs> Close enough to be shooting at us, that's for sure. Yeah, this is definitely not good. Okay, we'll crash dive. All right, we're safely zero. under. We can just Meters. go ahead. Shut down I'm too busy engines. here anyway. Okay. Good. We got Current plenty of room. Alright, everybody just Four, calm down. Yes. Ah, you're injured, of course. Okay, well... Okay, good. How? Whoops, that is not what I was looking for. Here's the key I was looking for. Subsystems, how's everybody doing? Uh, four battery. Yeah, we're looking a little, a little rough there. Our diesel engines look like they took the brunt of it, but uh, we'll be able to get those repaired, no problem. Flooding, I don't think is going to be a problem. Let's check. We'd be uh, flooding in the radio room, and we're fine. And then we'll check the engine room as well, and we're fine. One of the things I do like, of course, with us crash diving, we can see, where's my boat? Oh, hell you know. Current what depth, seven, zero meters. What the hell have we got going on here? Some sort of weird floating island. Uh, well, here we are. We should have evened out by now. And, uh, yeah, there's the ground. Oops. But, Pressure uh, hull repaired. This, this is weird. I've never seen any sort of underwater thing like that with floaty rocks and stuff. It's like... Freaking Pandora, but we're wet. Uh, okay. We seem to still be dropping, which does have me worried. Let's just go up to periscope depth, guys. And we are listing a little bit. Joseph, yes. how about we um, reduce I'll flooding sure time? Good. That'll, that'll help us with flooding. You're on. Captain. I got nothing to tell you, man. You know submarines better than I do. 
All right. Well, we've we've evened ourselves out now, which is good. And um, we'll take a look. Oops, this is definitely what I wanted. Yeah, we'll get repairs done and um, yeah, basically just get back on our route. So I will be back when some exciting happens. All right, guys, we had a wonderful Christmas day uh, celebrating while we were sailing along the high seas. It's now Boxing Day or the day after Christmas for Americans out there. And uh, here we are setting up our patrol. Uh, we did get a radio contact. I got myself into position to intercept them and then waited and waited and waited. Obviously not that long, but it was a couple hours of wait in game time, of course. Not in real time. That would be ridiculous. And uh, yeah, no, nobody came by. So I'm just going to assume that it's a ghost ship. And um, basically just do the good old fashioned tried, tested and true method. Perfect. Um, All stop. Of doing this for the next little while. So hopefully I get something and I can be back with something exciting to show you guys. All right. Now, after doing some very tedious patrolling, we've come across something that I think is going to be beneficial for us. 13 and a half kilometers out, and he is going 11 knots. So we're going to need to pick up the pace. See if we can't catch this guy. Oh, we don't need that going on. Thank you for the autosave. What we do need is to get up on deck and see if we can't spot this guy because we know he's a freighter. I mean, really, that's about it. I'm just going to turn the in-game sound down to my headset a little bit. Got to keep it loud for chasing down uh, freighters with the sonar. But uh, once that's done, you get on deck. Man, it's a very loud game. <clears throat> All right, so we should just be coming into visual range of this guy shortly. And indeed, there we have it. Way out there, right there, is the ship Closing we're to what? looking for. Did not mean to uh, hit the period key, or is it the comma key? Either one, it might be comma. Let's not uh, get too technical though, about what keys I'm pressing. Let's get more technical about, you know, Closing in on ships. Now, how close are we? Let's go ahead and drop this down to speed one. And we're still about nine kilometers out. So, still a long ways out to be attempting any sort of cannonade, either cannonade or uh, shelling with our handy dandy 88. Let's just see now. We're about seven kilometers out. And it does look like this guy's making a little bit of a defensive maneuver. Which I think means they're slowing down. They are. That is good news for us. We'll be able to catch them in no time. With beautiful setting sun. Making a nice backdrop for the carnage that's about to hit the high seas. And we're getting real close to this guy. Yes, sir. Man, the Man deck gun. The deck. Thank you, Peter. Deck gunner. That is our target. Ah, perfect. Let's go ahead and slow down slow to speed, speed two. Down. We don't need to be charging in like a crazy person. we can very handedly approach at a much calmer pace to make sure, of course, most of our shots can hit the target. Let's go ahead. Oh, look at the high explosives causing explosions of all kinds. Mm, looks like your camouflage job there didn't do much for you. But I was right about the setting sun. Let's just get that down. Look at that. You can hear the shells flying in the background. 
couple of impacts every now and then. Uh, it's a thing of beauty. This game, man. This game is a thing of beauty sometimes. Now let's just hope that, um, you know, we're able to get this, this kill to count. And I'm, I'm fairly confident we are going to wind up sinking this ship. Um, you know, which is why I know that this is going to be a kill. Let's just get ourselves turned around. Um, well, let me just check something. Because I seem to have very quickly seen a mast there. But, uh, perhaps, perhaps poor Grimpwind is just hallucinating. I'm not sure. Or that may have been a mast that flew off the ship. I don't know. There are quite a few explosions going on. That very well could have been it. I think it's definitely safe to say. Yeah, there's the U-boat. But this ship is not going to be... Going anywhere except down. Oh, uh, yeah. Anything below the waterline yet? Not a thing. Doesn't need to be, really. The ship that's already on fire... You don't really need to concern yourself too much. And there we go. Now, why I like that is because we actually did get the patrol the destination marker done. So, I'm hoping because of that... See, I don't know. That still looks like it's in line with the A, but it may have moved just enough to count. I'm not really sure. What we need to test this theory is a big-ass convoy. Uh, let's go ahead, erase that. And where are we going to find a big-ass convoy? Well, I think somewhere up in this region we should be good. So let's set a course. Oops. Let's set a course. Right there, let's... Well, you know what? I don't know how old this radio contact is, so let's set it that way. Just in case that happens to be a recent radio contact, in which case we'll hit a pretty big convoy. One hopes, anyway. And then we can test the theory that maybe, just maybe, all we needed to do was complete one of those stupid patrols. And then uh, we'll be good. This thing has taken a long time to jiggle itself underwater. Defiance is already well out of range. Well, maybe not. Now nah, we're not well out of range. We can still see everything that's going on. All right, well, let's head back, shall we? Whoop. Watch this guy go under. Whoop. Making all the correct ship sinking noises. Clanking, clanging. Air escaping ship sinking and there she goes leaving her cargo behind let's get under just to see it sink oh actually the sun's in a great position deeper uh, that may have been too deep and away she goes all right well with that ship under the water Gentlemen, let's go get ourselves a convoy. Back with something exciting happens. All right, so we've got a warship, and uh, Dieter, our good friend, identified it as a task force. So what I want to do oh, stop. to actually find out if this is a task force or not, we are just on the periphery of their visu visual range, which is good. Let's go ahead, get ourselves under... Come on, go all the way down. There we go. Oh, whoa! I know, I'm sorry, I freaked out for a moment. My god. Okay, easy, Joseph, don't worry. We're fine, yeah. The floor, it's fine, don't worry. Unless he was pointing as in, are we going deeper? New yeah, we are going deeper. Moving slow, closing, bearing, three, two, six, See. long range. Current depth, one, zero, meters. It's probably just a little convoy. And it's definitely not coming towards us. So what we're going to want to do is probably head off in that direction. Off speed ahead. Uh, 
or maybe more like that. Let's just see. That's going to be eight clicks. We can probably do that on battery power. I would hope. We're full up. We are good. All right. Everything's repaired, obviously, except for the hull, which is handy dandy. Oh, don't need to be stuck on the uh, hydrophone station. Excuse me, gentlemen. Climbing up, grabbing that periscope. Let's just see if we can't keep our eye. Merchant, moving slow, closing, bearing, 52, long range. 52, about there. So, yeah, we can definitely see the merchant that he's talking about. Just out there. So that's good. Let's just go ahead and speed contact. up time. Merchant, moving slow, closing, okay. bearing, Okay, well, for 45, some reason, long range. that escort ship is uh, ditching out on the rest of the convoy. I'm not going to question it. Let's go ahead and get that down. Finish the climb. Excellent. And I'm thinking even if we just sort of position ourselves here, I say tentatively not sure if this is actually going to be a good location or not. Because those ships still seem like they're fairly far out. But it also seems like they are going to be coming by here eventually. And my only question is, are we too close? Are we going to be too close to this merchant? That guy? Or that guy. You target. No. There's got to be some that are closer. What are we... Oh, that's why. <laughs> there we go. Although I'm not, I'm not really sure if that makes it any better. Target marked. Tracking you target. Could we? We could. All right. Well, that's going to be the first one we get a shot off on. Let's go ahead, warm up that torpedo. Ha <laughs> ha, yes, now F-12 is actually doing something good. Let's just make sure everything's going to be nice and kosher on this shot. And then hopefully... This will count towards the um, the mission total. Because I, for one, would certainly like. And los! Hope that's going to be a good shot. I, for one, Tracking would certainly like you to get ourselves... You know, some more some more kills on the board, so we can maybe just maybe be safe. Impact. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so now let's check this out. That guy, come on, don't don't freaking do this to me. All right, come on. Oh, come on. Back into the periscope. Damn this game sometimes. Like, it, it looks like there should be a ship right here, but it, it, it obviously isn't this guy. Is it? Maybe. That seems ridiculous. One would assume it would be, like, this guy. Nice and close. Uh, I guess this is still... Whoa! I guess that's still active. So that's good. Would that guy be a better shot, I wonder? No, let's go with this guy. Just because it looks like he's going to be coming in range sooner than later. And uh, it should be a front-on shot. Yeah, it is going to be, yeah, it's one of them wiggly shots. All right, let's look for something different. That one might not be bad, actually, now that I consider it. Although, what else have we got? That's almost too good to pass up right there. Nice big freighter. 
or troop transport or something. Whatever it is, this guy's big and he needs to go down. So let's just wait and... Uh, Los. There we go. Until that hits. We got a good hit on that guy. I'm liking that. Uh, that guy target. might be a bit too far out. We got this guy coming in. You target. We go up. Firing two, sure, why not? I doubt that's going to hit, though. That guy is probably... Whoa, come on now. Where did that ship go? There we go. Got to maneuver this around. Uh, we'll go up to that. And that is already too quick. What about you? Tracking you target. Well, maybe. You? Target marked. A bit too far out. But we'll see. I'm really hoping this torpedo hits on the big guy there. But, uh, actually, let's go investigate. Are we... Nowhere close. I don't understand what happened to that torpedo. But what else have we got going on? That guy dodged that one. And... I would imagine that guy's going to dodge that one. But what happened to the shot that I fired on this guy? That's what I don't understand. Regardless... Yeah, and then if we adjust it, yeah, that's just going to be way too quick. I have to chase this guy down. Or, you know, considering... Torpedo impact. Uh, we hit the destroyer? Ha <laughs> ha! That's what I like to see. I have to imagine that guy is... No, he's still in one piece. I'm not sure where my torpedo hit on him either. Should have been paying attention to that, but my word. That is quite the fire. Yeah, that guy's definitely going down. Totally a blaze like that? He's gotta be. Same with this guy, I hope. Nice big hole in the middle. He should be going down. Uh, let's get back into this view. And keep, keep selecting some targets here. Way out. Yeah, and for that guy, we would have to pick up our pace. Half speed ahead. Well, let's do it. I'd like to hunt down a big ship like that. Come on. Let's actually get ourselves zoomed in. I guess we could speed this up just a little bit. Continually adjusting. We've got two one back up, which is good. And this guy is definitely making a run for it. So I'm not really sure if we'll be able to get a successful shot. But with me going nine knots, that other troop ship going ridiculous knots. Come on, come on. And Los. That should be a good hit, I hope. And let's well, let's load up this, and we can, I guess, line up for a two shot. Might have to kick up our speed a bit more. Really eat through our battery power. That's okay. That's what it's here for. Actually, let's just check it. 72. We're doing fine. Let's get that mini-map back up. I'm keeping my eye on that torpedo there. Seems like a pretty long-distance shot. I don't know. I don't know. Like, it doesn't... Well... That might work out. 
Hmm. What am I doing? We could just do that. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, is that actually going to work? No, no, it's not. So let's keep advancing. Although, really, that ship is big enough. I bet I could have launched that and it would have been fine. But uh, let's play it safe. Come on. Almost there. Stay on target. Close. There we go. Let's cut our engines. Minimum speed ahead. Awesome. Cut them down. And we've got two confirmed kills. So let's see. Did this move? No. No, it did not move. Yippee. So I don't really even know now, you know, what the, honestly, what the point is. <laughs> Which is sad to say. But like, if these kills aren't counting. What am I doing? What am I doing with my life? Torpedo impact. Beautiful shot. But of course, no damage below the waterline. Because it's a big ship and those things don't usually get holes punched in them. For whatever reason. Uh, well, let's just speed up time on these guys. Just a little bit. And take a look. It's in a book. Reading Rainbow. Tracking new target. We got nothing coming. Or we got nothing in the tubes. We've got plenty coming. Uh, I'm actually honestly hoping that that's going to be a maritime disaster. It isn't. Sometimes you just, you just can't get what you want. That's too bad. Uh, regardless, I'm just going to do a dummy fire here. If it misses the destroyer, which seems pretty damn unlikely, but if it does, there's a good chance it'll hit that freighter behind it. So, you know, win-win, I guess. And 98, 99. Tube two, ready. Firing tube two. Let's fire. See what happens. Guy is coming pretty freaking close. Might want to get ourselves just a bit further. Torpedo impact. Ha ha! Take that, Poland. Uh, again, no damage under the waterline, but the fire, the fire betrays itself. Current depth two zero meters. Current depth five zero meters. All right, well, let's just take a look around then. Sort of take stock of the situation. Get back up to periscope depth. Task force sighted, airing five, six. Yeah, all the fires, that's good. Hello. Tracking new target. You know, even though these don't count for anything, it's still difficult to, um... Two. To not take shots when they present themselves, you know? It's just, uh... Sometimes you gotta, you just gotta take the shot. Cause that should be a hit. Yeah, right in the middle, too. Uh, so now we are reloading everything. That's good. Yeah, that should be a fairly good kill. Basically, now, what I want to kind of do... We'll get the periscope down is um Two, one. Ready. wait out the rest of these ships as you can see one of the big convoy ship or one of the big freighter ships here has stopped i'd like if i could to get the other two that are on fire to stop as well and just sort of have the rest of the ships continue on uh, without them because unless i have a good situation presenting itself here. Let's go back to the front of the ship. You are not a destroyer. Unless I've got a good chance on one of the escort ships here. And you know what? I might. Coming along, coming along. That is where I get you. First. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, damn. Oh, did I miss it? Did I miss my chance? Nope. I did not. Good. Okay. Three, two, one. Two. Let's see what that does. Torpedo impact. Perfect. Let's go check that damage out. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Well, that is going to be fatal for a destroyer. You're Two, not coming back five. from that, my Ready. friend. Uh, and then we've got one last one here. Which, unfortunately, I'm not going to get tube 2 reloaded quick enough. Tube two. Ready. I don't think. Put a bit more speed onto it. But the thing is, this guy's doing maneuvers. Although, damn, I gotta tell you, if, he, if he's just gonna come into my line of sight, it'd be silly not to fire. All right. So I think that should be it for the escorts, if I'm honest. Which is, oh no, there's one last one. One last one way back over there. Bit of a pain. There we go. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hit each other. No? Ah, uh, well, can't win them all. Regardless, both of those guys should be going down. I don't think those uh, destroyers could survive and recover from all of that. We've got, no, I think that's still just, well, maybe. Maybe another one was added. It was a big one, so let's see. Definitely not. Definitely nothing going on there. Damn nation. All right, well, we got those two destroyers. We got these guys out over here. We should be going. Oh, yeah, so that's definitely that guy going under. For sure. Let's check the water lines on these guys. You are listing a little bit. And you are listing a little bit too, but not really enough to be fatal. I'm not thinking. Uh, let's see. Raise up the periscope. And yeah, so there is the last destroyer coming along. Just going to speed up time to get my frontal tube loaded. Two, three, ready. Beautiful. Let's find him. Okay. This is going to be another crazy shot, but it looks like this guy's coming straight for us, which is good. Because he's probably not going to be adjusting his course much. Oh, come on. And close. Let's see what that does. Torpedo impact. I love it. Wish he's were counting for something, I'll tell you that much. Should have been coming in. Oh, yeah, big hole right there. Okay, so that's it for escort ships. Um, I'm not going to surface because, you know, they're still surfaced. But I'm fairly confident that those guys are as good as dead. Let's check <clears throat> our subsystem. We got 69% battery power. <laughs> I like it. Let's continue. Half speed ahead. And two, four, ready. I mean, these guys are definitely following stop. cut engines. But they should be all three of them on fire, if I'm correct. Fire, 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 fire everywhere. None of you all are going to be coming to anyone else's aid. Got some more ships over there. Okay. Well... I mean, how many torpedoes have we got left here? One torpedo left. And to be quite honest, I don't think there's much else we're going to be able to do. And since it doesn't count for anything, it's kind of, um, kind of a moot point. So there's one last thing I'm going to try to see if this, to see if I can get this to work. And that is going to be ending in a port, saving, but not relaunching, and then um, doing a reload that way. 
So let's get ourselves set to come into Morial Harbor here. That is gonna kill us. No, thank you. New waypoint. Course two. Let's just make sure that that's looking nice and good. We'll pull ourselves in. Perfect. Uh, let's go. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna end the video here and then head on back. Do some saving. It's a shame none of these guys are gonna count, but um, hopefully that's gonna be the end of the woes of this stuff not counting. Let's go ahead and get ourselves out of the periscope view. Head on down to the command deck. Gentlemen, how's it going? Another good victorious sail. It's a shame the BDU doesn't want to recognize our greatness, but uh, we'll see if we can't convince them otherwise, eh, Joseph? Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, guys, so we're going to leave the video there for today. Thank you all very much for watching. Thumbs up if you'd enjoyed it. Leave your comments, questions, concerns, thoughts, jokes, musings, what have you below. So again, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.